So you want to be a ninja warrior? No. Oh, you don't? Well, do you want to have better grip strength? Yeah, definitely. Then pay attention, you can learn something. Today, we are talking about the three best ways to train for grip strength if you're going to compete on Ninja Warrior. And trust me, you need a lot of grip strength if you're going to compete. If you're going to if you're going to compete on Ninja guys, we don't have to play the video. I was going to I was going to tell them about I was going to tell them that story. We don't have to show the guys. Okay, fine. Show the video, just don't make it bigger. We don't have to make it any bigger. Oh my god. Not the song. Please please turn off the song. Yes, I fell on the floating monkey bars last year on Ninja Warrior. It haunts me every night when I go to bed. And part of the reason was I had no grip left at all. But I've been doing a ton of training to make sure that my grip strength is bulletproof this season. Here's the deal. You don't have to be a competitor on Ninja Warrior to learn from this video. If you do martial arts and you want stronger grip strength to control your opponent, maybe you're just a weightlifter and you want stronger grip in the gym, whatever it is that you want better grip for, you will learn from this video some great techniques on how to train your grip strength and how to get way stronger forearms and hands. However, this is specifically how to train grip strength for Ninja Warrior. Before we jump into the three best ways for that, I just want to address two ways that I think are really, really good for training grip strength in general. And I think they're even good ways to train grip strength for Ninja Warrior, but they're not my top three. So what are those two exercises? First one is deadlifting. Deadlifting is an amazing way to build grip strength, guys. If you've ever done deadlifts in your life, you know that a lot of times the weakest link in your deadlift is your forearms. So by deadlifting regularly, you will develop way better grip strength. Deadlifting is also great for building athleticism in general. I highly recommend deadlifts, but I don't wanna get off topic here. The second way is these babies. Grippers. If you've ever done any research on how to get stronger grip, you've probably come across these somewhere on the interweb. And they're a great way to build grip strength, but not the top three for building grip strength for Ninja Warrior. If we were talking about other sports, I'd maybe include these in today's video. I'd probably include deadlifts too because I think these are great exercises. But if we're talking about building grip strength for Ninja Warrior, I've got three that I think are better. Let's get to it. Number three, an obvious one pull-ups or we're gonna call it bar work. Any work where you're hanging from a bar is gonna work your grip really, really efficiently for Ninja Warrior. So, doing pull-ups, all different types of grips, all different types of widths, do your pull-ups. Here's a quick tip, do as many pull-ups as you can, right? And then once you're totally gassed, you can't do any more pull-ups, hang from the bar for as long as you can. As soon as you can't hang anymore, you drop, you go to a bar that's about waist height, and now we're gonna do body weight rows. As many as you can, burn out, and then when you can't do any more, you're just gonna rest in that, in that hanging position in a body weight row, hold that for as long as you can. That's a quick superset, a really great way to totally tax your forearms. Use this in your training, it'll definitely help. Before we move on to number two, one more quick thing when it comes to bars. Thicker bars work your forearms more than thin bars do. At the park, you've got monkey bars, right? If you're hanging from the monkey bars on the bars in between that you're supposed to swing from, those are like an average thickness, right? They're, you're training your forearms, but if you go to the side of those monkey bars, a lot of times that bar is thicker. If you do your pull-ups from that bar, you'll train your grip a lot more. And athletes, trainers, fitness companies, over the last couple years, now that this has become common knowledge, they sell equipment that already comes with a thicker bar. So you have a regular barbell, and then they'll sell a barbell that's extra thick to train your grip more. But that stuff is expensive, so a quick life hack, get yourself some of these. These are called fat grips. You throw this onto any apparatus, and the bar automatically becomes thicker. Instead of holding onto the normal bar, you're now holding onto this thing, and it makes it thicker. It's gonna train your forearm significantly more. If you get some of these, you don't have to get this type exactly. There's a bunch out there. Just do some research on fat grips and other grip trainers, and you will find some different options. But this is a really inexpensive tool to automatically make any bar thicker and you will automatically train your forearms more. Number two on this list is going to be atomic holds as seen on Ninja Warrior. So if you've watched the show, you've probably seen these before. If not, maybe you're like, what the heck am I looking at? Let me explain. These are holds designed for challenging your grip made by a couple different companies and this is the specific purpose of them. It's designed to be difficult to hold on to. So maybe you can hang from a bar or from gymnastics rings for like 10 minutes. If you grab some atomic holds, they sell them in all different shapes and all different sizes. These are significantly harder to hold onto than a normal bar. And here's the deal, if all your work is done on a bar or gymnastics rings, 
your body will get used to that, right? Your muscles won't be challenged by that anymore after a while. And by introducing these, you're attacking the muscle from different angles. You're attacking the muscle in new ways. And if you give the muscle a new stimulus, it has to respond. It's challenged in a new way, so it has to grow, right? Once you worked on pull-ups from a normal bar for a little while, I would encourage you to get some of these. The two major companies that sell these are Three Ball Climbing and Atomic Holds. Both are good companies. I tend to get most of my stuff from Three Ball Climbing. They have a little bit more when it comes to options and creativity. They have a lot more stuff on that website. But Atomic Holds also makes some great stuff too. You can check out those websites. Link is in the description below if you're interested in getting any equipment from their website. Let's move on. Alright guys, so number one on this list is going to be rock climbing. And I'm sorry to all the people out there who are hoping for some big secret, but there is no big secret other than hard work every single day of your life and eating healthy. Guys, there's no better way to build grip strength than rock climbing, and I'm going to explain why right now. I don't want to get repetitive, but when I was talking about number two, I talked about hitting the muscle from different angles, right? Well, here's the deal. When rock climbing, there is an infinite amount of different holds that you are going to put your hands on while you're climbing, and that's going to train your grip in so many different ways. I don't care how strong you think your grip is from whatever, deadlifting, using grippers, doing pull-ups, any type of training. Go rock climbing. Your forearms will be wrecked the next day. But your forearms will always be wrecked if you really do hard rock climbing. It's the best way to strengthen your forearms, bar none. Case in point, the only two guys to ever complete all four stages of Mount Midoriyama on American Ninja Warrior, one was a professional rock climber, and the other is a really high level rock climber. These people who spend day and night rock climbing for years and years and years, they are the ones who have impenetrable grip. They are the ones who can hang the longest. If you want to compete on Ninja Warrior and do well, I'm telling you, get into a rock climbing gym or you're wasting your time. Training on obstacles is a great way to train for Ninja Warrior, but if you really expect to win it all, you better be rock climbing. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff is super appreciated. If you like this video, let me know what you liked about it. Maybe you disagree with one of the things I said. Tell me why in the comments below. Peace out. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see last week's video, click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click over here. Or don't. I am not a beggar. But it is free, so. Or just, just do it. Just do it. Right there. Click the button. Go ahead. Click it. I'll wait.